violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Well, Marla, Alex, I can community is just absolutely in, in such support of this gentleman here. Craig Cope, thank you so much for joining us. Now, we'll start right away because we don't have a lot of time, but when this happened to you on Sunday and you saw them coming in that door with that weapon that appeared to be an AR-15, what did you, what were your thoughts? Wow, so um, we have Craig Cope out here doing interviews, man. Had a heart attack from the robbery in the LA convenience store that almost went down if it wasn't for him exercising his Second Amendment right. See, guys, what you don't understand is that there is always going to be evil in the world, but good people need to be able to defend themselves from evil people and evil people are always going to have access to the tools that they need to inflict evil but good people need tools to in order to inflict justice and that is what craig cope did i wish i wish he would have cocked back another one and clapped him and took him for good because we need more examples set. We really do. And it needs to be on film. It needs to be on camera. And people need to know that um, you're going to start losing a lot of these interactions when you're trying to take advantage of vulnerable people. Um, so shout out to Craig Cope. He defended his store. I know all the, <laughs> the California DAs are punching the air because he was completely legal with... Um, his ownership of his weapon and his ability to defend his store. So shout out to him, man. And, you know, the Super Gremlins came in on a Sunday and I wish they would have left in a body bag, but they live to fight another day. Um, so I hope he gets some security, you know, but this is what's going on all across Cali. And it, it's wild. It's out of hand. And it seems like the politicians are just not willing to do anything about it. There wasn't much time to think about it. It was just uh, the guy pointed the gun directly at me. And then it's him or me. You acted right away. Frankly, if it had been me, I, I'd, I'd probably be dead. I wouldn't know what to do. I'd freeze. But you knew. I, yeah, I am not going to give him the chance. I mean, if I recognize the weapon, that's a semi-automatic gun. Fast, you can pull the trigger. Maybe someone convert it to automatic. It's equivalent of a machine gun. I'm not going to let him get the first shot off at that point. The reaction, not just here in Norco, but in Southern California, has been incredible. People and business owners who say, we are so tired of this crime wave. We are so glad that you defended your business. Yeah, well, I don't know that I did anything that somebody else wouldn't have done. Well, I mean, there are some people who don't believe in their Second Amendment rights, so they wouldn't even exercise it because they wouldn't even have had a weapon. Then they would have been totally vulnerable and <clears throat> probably got murked in, the, in that situation. Because these super gremlins are not just robbing. They're, they're going to murk you, bro, point blank. But two things. We, we need more people to stand up, but more than that, probably get on the wrong side of some people here but the politicians there's people out there that are not the best of people um <laughs> who did y'all think about when he said that i'll just <laughs> i mean he's basically saying what i've been saying these super gremlins are on demon time and he's right there's evil in this world comes in all shapes and sizes but uh, when you give an inch, they'll take a mile and the main perpetrators of this demon time activity are taking their whole mile. And it's not just a mile, it's a mile and a half. There's people that choose to be burglars. There's people that choose to be armed robbers. And that's the, I had one guy one time, he told me specifically he was a burglar. 
I mean, I had him in handcuffs. He was going to jail, and he's talking to me. He's a burglar. He says, that's what I do. He says, I, I wait till it gets dark, and I go burglarize places. So these people that can continually get let out now, it's, it's been really bad the last year. Yeah, and they've been being let out, but slowly. And California just, uh, you know, they put in a plan to let out over 66,000 um, inmates in California. Okay, and you don't know their story in jail, what's going down in prison. Because when you go to prison, you have to become more evil, okay? And a lot of it can be self-defense, but sometimes you got to be on the offense, okay? And in prison, you a lot of people get worse. That's why there's a high recidivism rate. So... <clears throat> And nowadays, they're making it comfortable for the criminals. They're letting people out because of the CV. I mean, it's ridiculous. Those people, the majority of them, are going to go right back to what they used to do. So the crime rate is escalating. It's going to continue to escalate until they start putting the people away uh, that are doing the bad things. And as far as here and my place, um, they wouldn't have doing any good to call the, the local sheriffs. They can't get here that quick. This whole thing from the time they, I saw them coming around the side of the building to coming in the door and what happened, 10 seconds. That yep, it's too quick. You can't just rely on police. Now, we do need a heavier police presence, but you can't just rely on that. Actual thing from when he pointed his gun at me, half, three quarters of a second, because I'm not waiting. When you point that gun directly at me and you're that close to me and I see what you're carrying, I'm not waiting. Man. The instincts of this man, the bravery, the poise. I mean, while his heart is just throbbing. Pause. You know, shout out to him. Shout out to him. I hope that he goes somewhere and sit his ass down, honestly. You know, a man like this, even though I know, you know, you love the work and all that kind of stuff, but you shouldn't be punching in, punching out every single day. You, you got to stop sometime i know you know people need the money and whatnot but this is why you got to prepare for the future y'all you don't want to be his age respectfully i respect this man but you don't want to be his age working and he might just love to work the liquor store he don't think nobody can do it better than him that's that old generation but you got to outsource you have to replace yourself in the business you might you know um, have to split that bag but you're doing that so that you can increase the total bag so you might be splitting a bigger bag rather than just taking a smaller bag for yourself and i think that's what craig you know needs to go ahead and do you gotta outsource you gotta hire a young a young buck who's gonna work this and and you know he's armed as well maybe hire some bulletproof windows to separate you from the criminals and give you a slot to where you could open up and shoot out I mean, that's how you got to do it. But um, shout out to him, bro, for real. Now, you saw them in the parking lot. And the first tip off was when he put his mask well, over his first, face. First tip off, I saw him through the front door drive into this parking lot. <laughs> he said once they drove into the parking lot, it was OV. But they didn't park where a normal person would park. So that was a red flag. Then... They parked on the side of the building where they're basically out of sight. That was the second red flag. When I looked and saw them getting out of the vehicle, they got gloves, masks, a weapon. That just solidified the deal for me. I knew what was coming. Now, right after the shooting, you got sick. You had a heart attack. Mm. How are you doing? I, as far as I know, I'm doing better. Uh, I'm doing a lot better than I was that night. Um, was traumatic yeah i don't know what caused it uh maybe i'm just old <laughs> <laughs> man oh man that i mean seems like a very sweet guy you just hate to see these these super gremlins just preying on this i mean he's a very strong man but obviously he's frail he's weaker than you know younger men <clears throat> They're preying on the weak. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's, uh, 
pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all it, they're not going for able-bodied people. They probably visited the liquor store a few times. Oh, that old man always working there, bro. It's, I mean, come on. <laughs> well, you're, you're 80 years old, and we're all in shock and, and just amazed at how you reacted in such a, an intense moment with that man walking in with that weapon. Um, what's your... No, th that wasn't a man. That was a super gremlin on demon time advice to business owners who are just so fed up with this crime okay yeah you can do what i did but but what you really need to do is put some pressure on the politicians because they got no clue what's really going on out here in the real world oh no they do know they, they do have a clue <laughs> they unleash the clue they want it to happen that's where we me and craig gotta disagree we gotta sit down craig and you know, we got to talk or you got to look my channel up, whatever. We got to talk. That's where we disagree. They want this to happen. They're seeing the uptick in crime. They're seeing the, the smash and grabs. They're seeing the smash windows and cars on every street. They want it to happen. They don't care. They don't care about y'all. They have a security detail. They're good. <laughs> I could start naming names, but there's a whole lot of them that are creating major problems for business owners, but for lo local law enforcement, they're creating problems for them. Uh, I'm sure they go out and risk their lives taking people into custody to see them get let, let out with no bail. And these no support for the officers, mass exodus in, 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 uh, in the major cities and what all the politicians are saying in sync. They're saying this everywhere. OK, they're saying this everywhere. Mayor Eric Adams is saying the same thing. Mass exodus of police officers in New York. What did he what does he say? It's a great way to diversify the force. OK, mass exodus in um, New Orleans. Uh, uh, Latoya Contrell, what is she saying? Well, it's a, it's a great opportunity to for diversify the force. OK, in L.A., same thing. He said the, the uh, police commissioner said he can't even protect y'all. He said, don't come. To live and die in L.A. A lot of these people are career criminals. I'm not talking about the guy that you know goofed up one time, made one mistake. I'm talking about the career criminals. They're career criminals. They need to be locked up. So if this were to happen again, you would not hesitate? No. Your message to... Next time I'll put him down. That's what he should have said. Next time I'll put him down for good. To the bad guys? This isn't a good place to pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. This isn't a good place to pick. So anybody thinking about it, not a good idea. Thank you so much for speaking with us. And I'm so glad that you're doing so much better. Thank you. Welcome. All right, Marla, Alex, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Gina, one question for him. Uh, was he in the military? Does he have much experience with shooting? Where, where, you know, how is he such a good shot? Alex is asking, how are you such a good shot? Were you in the military? Do you have experience? When I was a kid, uh, when I was 10, I had a gun and uh, I grew up in Illinois. We had a lot of small game, squirrels, rabbits, quail. I put a lot of food on the table on a regular basis and I had a single shot. So ammunition was expensive when I had to buy it myself. 50 cents was a lot of money. and. Uh, <laughs> You don't want to miss. You get a single shot, don't miss. Yeah. So it still holds true. <laughs> don't well, miss. there you go. I tell you, under pressure with that kind of like fear, I, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm so glad to, you're doing well. And the suspects, they were busted. Uh, the uh, one who was shot in the arm. Well, they'll be they'll be let out. So. That's the unfortunate thing. They were busted, but they'll be let out. He's lucky he's alive, actually. Yeah, <laughs> Don't you think? Very. Yeah, uh, he will be arrested once he gets out of uh, out of the hospital. Alex, Marla. Well, we're so glad that Craig uh, is well enough to a be back at work and be with us tonight and, and take the time out to talk. What a what a badass dude. Excuse my language, but I mean, coming back to work, you get robbed, shoot a super gremlin, have a heart attack, and you back. <laughs> Yo, man, 
That's the will of a man, yo. Talk to you, Gina. Thank you so much. Thank you both.